I hope you've been waiting for it. By the way, what do you think of our latest version? Please share your opinion in the chat. We'd love to get your feedback. I think most of you are already familiar with Nextcloud and OnlyOffice. Uh, so today we will learn how to get the most of OnlyOffice and Nextcloud integration. We will learn how to create text documents, spreadsheet presentations, and form and edit it. Configure Nextcloud settings, collaborate on Office or file in real time, discover main features worth mentioning, and take advantage of Nextcloud integration with our desktop editors and mobile apps. So what are the Nextcloud system requirements? First of all, you need an instance of all the Office docs that is resolvable and connectable both from Nextcloud and any end clients. Um, and all the Office docs must be able to post to Nextcloud directly. Starting from the version 4.3.0, all the Office docs and Nextcloud can be installed either on a different machine or an, at the same machine. And in case you select the latter variant, uh, you will need to set up a custom port uh, for only Office because uh, both only Office and Nextcloud by default work on the port 80. And starting from the last version, only Office Docs can be installed in the ARM based devices, which offers high performance, energy efficiency, and integrated security. And moreover, you should have Nextcloud version 22 or later. Now we have a new version 24 and only Office Connectors version 7.3.4 and later for Nextcloud. You will find the connector in the app market. You can download it at any time. So let's imagine that the connector is already installed. What steps do they need to set it up? To configure the only Office application settings, please go to the settings. You should click on the profile settings, administration, and only Office. Let's see what can be done here. First, you will see the server settings. Uh, you can specify the URL address that the document editing service is installed. This field is obligatory. If you install only Office on a custom port, you must specify the port. Uh, the next settings, uh, this parameter is intended to disable the certificate verification and allow Nextcloud to establish connection with only Office Docs if you are using a self-signed certificate for only Office Docs. So uh, this solution is not secure. Uh, we do not recommend to disable it. So that I suggest you replace the certificate with one issued by some uh, certificate authorities. We recommend you to specify the secret key to use to sign the data. For more detail, we are sending you the link uh, for our article related to this topic. If your network configuration does not allow for requests between the installed Nextcloud and all the Office Docs using the public addresses, please use advanced server settings. Here you have two options, on the Office Docs address for internal requests from the server and server address for internal requests from only Office Docs. And if you do not have only Office Docs yet, you can connect uh, to demo only Office Docs server and test all features uh, during a 30 day test period. And after you set up the parameters, do not forget to click on the save button. So what do we have in the common settings? If you will want to restrict access to the only Office editors in Nextcloud for certain users group, you should click on this icon and select the groups. Also, you can use OnlyOffice to generate a document review, but it will take up some disk space. And if you would like to open file in the same tab, you should click on this box. If the box is unchecked, so the file will be opened in a new browser tab. And revisions make it possible to keep metadata and display changes for each document version in version history, but it will also take up some disk space. And uh, here you can check uh, the format of the file which will be opened with the only Office editors. And this option allows administrators to cho choose the document format to edit via their conversion to OOXML format. The CSV and text file are selected by default. 
After you enable the corresponding option, uh, document and specified formats will be immediately converted and opened in the audiosis editor uh, after clicking on them. If the format is unchecked, so the file will be opened for viewing. So I think now it's a good time to talk about the formats. For editing and viewing, the following formats are available. For viewing only, we have a PDF format. And for filling forms is O form format. For editing via OLXML conversion, we have four formats. And finally, for converting to Office Open XML format using the convert with only Office option, we have the full list of the formats available. And you, you should uh, click on the file actions button, and you can convert with only Office the file, files from the list with the formats from the list. Also, when you save uh, a PDF, in the last version, you can also save it PDF to Docsx and other formats you can see on the screen. In the editor customization settings, you can keep intermediate versions when editing. It's also known as for save. This function allows you to send all changes to the storage directly when they're clicking the save button in the only office editors interface. So when the option is disabled, your changes are saved to the editor's cache automatically. And here you can select the interface elements of the editors, what you want to hide or to show. And the last option here is review mode for viewing. We, here we have markup for highlighting the proposed changes, final for showing the changes applied, and the original for showing the original document with, without any changes. You can also if you can also possible uh, to change the display mode in the document editor yourself itself in the collaboration tab display mode if you have similar documents and you do not want to recreate them each time and want other users to use them as well you can upload docsx xlsx and pptx uh, templates here we already edited templates it can be downloaded or deleted and after editing templates, users will be able to choose the template when creating a new document. And the next thing we should know about is secure view settings and enabling watermark. The main idea is that watermarks help protecting documents while viewing them. So it's really good features. And after making changes to the application settings, do not forget to click on the save button. And now it's a raffle time. First, three people who come up with the right, uh, right answer will get our only office free Docs Home Server license. So the question is, starting from which version does Nextcloud support integration with only office? Please write your answer in the chat and our team will contact you. So we've just configured the connector and now uh, it's a good time to look at them features, functional features. Let's start using them on practice. To create a document, you should click on the new button and you will see the following options. Upload the file, you can create a new folder and you can create all types of documents like uh, new documents, a new spreadsheet, new presentation and new form template. So for example, I create a document named test and after creating a document, uh, it will be opened automatically from the form template or from blank. The first thing you should know about uh, document editor is that we have the ability to check all the versions of the document to see who made the changes and restore one of the previous version. Isn't that great that all your previous thoughts and ideas are saved? You, can, you should click on the file tab version history and here you select the version you need to restore for example and click the restore button the users of on the office are pretty familiar with documents comparison features and now it's available in the integrated solution using this option you will be able to quickly compare two documents and see the difference between them highlighted with revision marks like in the track change mode 
So we open the calibration tab. Compare. You can compare a document from file, from URL, and from documents uh, from storage. And you can navigate between changes and accept or reject them, and also merge the changes. Here, I would like I would also like to point out that there is a new settings in the file tab, advanced settings. We have track changes display, which allows to select how you would like to view your changes. You can, by clicking in balloons or by hovering in tool tips. And now let's open the presentation and I'm going to show you our new table preview. Click on the print. And now you can preview your table before printing, which allows you to avoid misprinting and reduce paper consumption. Also, we have a new tab in addition to, for the existing, to the existing tools and commands. They have the view tab, which contains, contains such elements as combined sheet and status bar, always show toolbar and show frozen panes. The new version of the OnlyOffice editors adds an extensive list of currencies, which can be found under the home tab, general, more formats, currency. And here you can see the full list of symbols which can be added. And also we added a tool tips to formula which means that you can select uh, a formula from the list of available formulas. So you'll be able to quickly choose the one formula you need. As for the presentations, the last update offers in two new tabs, transitions and animations. Animations of different types that make your slide more visually appealing as well as transitions, which help to create more engaging presentation that communicate your message with impact and style. And I would like to pay particular attention of the form on the form templates if, and forms because they are recently they were recently introduced, recently implemented, and are not fully discovered by the users. To create a form template, you should click on this button, new form template, and it can be uh, created from blank and from text document. And to create a fillable form and restrict file editing by other users, you should click Save as of form button. Ready of forms can be saved to PDF, so you can open them like standard PDF files and uh, open them, uh, edit them in Adobe Acrobat. And another saving option is Docs, Docsx. So you can open your work in Microsoft Office. To fill in the form, you should click on the Actions button, fill in the form, or you, should, or, or you can open the form and fill in itself. So the difference between the form template and the form is that the, the form template can be edited and is designed to work on it together. So the form template is collaborative while the form is what the final recipient will get in order to fill in. So I will show you the main features here. Above the work area, we have uh, the available fields, text field, combo box, drop down list, check box, radio button and image. Text box is an area where you can write your text reply, for example, your last name or first name. Drop down list is a, an object containing a drop down list of the predefined choices. Checkbox is an object that allows displaying two states the checkbox is selected or a checkbox is cleared. And to know more about working with forms, I suggest you visit our YouTube channel because we had a webinar on this subject, so you can watch it at any time. And as for sharing, OnlyOffice supports both external and internal sharing options, and we will extend the range of sharing settings in the future. And in the next cloud, you can share the document by clicking on this button. And I would like also to tell you about our integration with desktop editors and with mobile apps. So to connect Nextcloud uh, to the desktop editor, you should open your desktop editors. Then you should click Connect to Cloud button and select the Nextcloud account. 
then you should in the cloud office URL field enter your next cloud server domain or IP address. And you should open this page. You should enter the login and the password. And then you should click on the login button. I will show you how it works. We already connected the account. I click on it. And here you go, the file section of the next cloud account will be opened. Now you can edit your existing file and create new ones, share your documents and collaborate on them with next cloud users using only Office editors. Have you ever found yourself in a situation when you have to open the file one the go and when you do not have the computer with you? It's not a problem anymore because we can integrate Nextcloud to mobile apps. It can be integrated both to iOS and to Android. So we should go to the Connect Cloud section, choose Nextcloud, insert the URL address of the Nextcloud server in the connection URL field, and enter the login and the password of the Nextcloud account. And here you go, the mobile app in Nextcloud will be opened. And to edit from your next cloud using only Office Docs, on your mobile device, tap the necessary file name in the file list. And if you would like to learn more about only Office and uh, next cloud integration, I suggest that you visit our website about training courses. And here we have a new special training courses integration next cloud. So you just need to submit a request and our specialists will help you as soon as possible. And we are open for questions. You, you can write your questions in the chat and I will answer the questions from the registered user. The first question is, are there any significant differences between Nextcloud and OwnCloud when it comes to only Office components integration? Uh, both connectors are pretty similar, that there is a difference between connectors. The next cloud provides you with the watermarking for viewing in the editor. In, uh, in on-cloud, it's possible to give access to the file with special permissions, for example, viewing only, uh, reviewing only, or commenting only. And we attach change logs to the chat so that you can see the differences between two connectors and uh, the features available. And the next question is, what is the maximum amount of sync user recommended for the community server? Would it depend on the hardware of the self it's server itself or it's a soft software cap? Um, our community edition of the OnDevice docs is limited with 20 concurrent connections to the server, meaning that uh, we have 20 users maximum is that uh, we suggest. However, if you would like to learn more about connections or about uh, users, number of users, I suggest you contact our sales department to know more. So, our, if you have any other question, our specialists will help you in the chat or in the comments. And I think it's a good time to finish our webinar. I hope you enjoy it. So thank you for being with Only Office. Goodbye.